Remember that there are many songs that have been written throughout the history of the church that should find their way into our worship sets. They anchor us to the history of the church, such as the great hymns. Integrate those hymns, whether in a traditional way or with a refreshed modern arrangement. I think the importance of involving hymns, including hymns in our worship, is that it taps into our heritage. These are songs that have been beautifully crafted by people who were in a really deep place in God. And um, there's still incredible passion on them. There's still the breath of the Holy Spirit on them. And as such, they, they bring that dynamic when you use them in worship, which is wonderful. Um, and the other thing is that for some people, that was what they were brought up on. That was their worship. And uh, to just have a taste of that again is like wonderful to them. And it, it just includes a lot of people who maybe might feel that something has been lost along the way. It's important to consider the capabilities of our band when we're selecting songs for worship. Remember, we're not being judged on the ability to create complex musical textures for people to worship with. Our goal is to minimize distraction so that people can stay focused on God as they worship. I guess the first question I ask when I look at preparing a set is what songs can the band play? I mean, there's some songs I'd love to do, but we just sometimes we just can't pull them off. We just don't have the know-how to do that. So, I, in fact, I go one step further than that these days. I look at what songs can the band play well. I mean, what songs do they feel comfortable in musically? So when the band seems to be comfortable musically, then the congregation can relax and focus on God and not worry whether we're going to fall apart of the chorus. One of the keys in creating a space where the congregation can relax in their worship of God is to have a well-rehearsed band. 